Welcome back to the next video in Lightroom 101. Um, now that we have our photos imported from our folder on our desktop into Lightroom, now it is time to edit them. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go from the library tab over to the develop tab, and we are going to, I'm going to show you some quick edits on there. All right, going from the library tab over to the develop tab, um, we will see all of our photos along the bottom here. Once we have all of our photos along the bottom, over on the right hand side, this is our quick edits. This is where we have control of all sorts of different things. Now, the first thing I noticed about my image um, is it's kind of on the warm side. What do you mean on the warm side? Right here, it's, there's a little bit of an orange tint to it. And so I'm gonna take my temperature and I'm gonna drag it down to the left. And that is going to make it more of a natural, more of a silver looking color. Um, if I bring it all the way down to the left, it turns blue all the way up to the right, it turns orange. And so I'm going to put that right there and make it look more silver. Now, one thing that is really cool about editing inside the develop tab in Lightroom is if I hit the letter Y, the letter Y will show me the before and the after. And so we can see here's a warmer, warmer tint to it. And here's just a little bit cooler. If I hit the letter Y again, it will go back to the original one. Okay. Another cool feature is on your keyboard, if you go over in the top right corner and you find the delete button, just below that, you have a straight line up and down, and you also have a slash. If you click on that, it will change to the before, and if you push it again, it'll change to the after. So we can toggle back and forth between the two views. While I'm editing, obviously you don't want to be in before, so we want to be in the regular edited. Okay. And then tint, if you change your tint, it can go really green or really purple. We don't need to do anything there. Exposure, you can play around with this. You can make it really dark, make it really right, light, excuse me. Um, and so what I do is I like, I like the blacks in this photo. Um, and so I'm going to make my image just a little bit darker. Contrast, I'm, if you bring it to the left, looks like this. If you bring it to the right, looks like that. Um, I like a little bit more detail, so I'm going to bring mine out to the right. Highlights, that's going to take your brighter colors, your brighter whites, your um, mostly just whites. Bring it out to the right, it goes light. Bring it down to the left, brings it darker. And for mine, I'm going to bring it down just a smidge. Um, there we go. Shadows, that's anything dark, um, specifically blacks, dark browns, um, any dark color anything that looks like it could be a shadow. Whites obviously are whites. So I'm going to bring the white down and the blacks. Uh, I'm also going to bring that down just a, just a, just a tad. And then I'll skip over texture clarity and dehaze and I'm going to go straight for vibrance. Um, vibrance, I always boost it just a little bit. And so we're going to boost it, boost that vibrance and saturation boost a little bit, but nothing crazy. So if I hit the letter Y, you can see the one on the left is before, the one on the right is after, or if right underneath the delete button, if I use my slash, there's my before and my after. So those are just the basic functions. Don't worry about tone curve, HSL, color, or any of the other stuff. Um, so we're just going to focus on these few corrections right here. And there you have it. That is a quick edit inside of Lightroom Classic under the Develop tab.